Hey, Dr. Scott here. Uh, this week we're going to be talking about uh, key nutrients for healthy brain. So building a healthy brain. This is optimal for enjoying your life, having a sharp mind, uh, being able to really enjoy your life fully. And you know, you see a lot of people at the end of their life where they don't have full function of the brain. So this is really something you can control. It's not necessarily a genetics. You can overcome this at the DNA level in regards to how your brain functions. Remember, all the tissue in your body regenerates and is recycled and you have new tissue replacing it all the time. The brain is no exception. The brain is uh, regenerated about every six months. You completely regenerate all the tissue in your brain. So really, import really important to understand that you have to have the right building blocks or raw materials to have healthy brain function. So understanding that, you have to put the right building blocks and nutrients in there. So the, the most important things are antioxidants. These are the things uh, here that you'll see this nice little chart here. And antioxidants are found in vegetables, berries, avocados, citrus, dark chocolate, coffee, herbs. Coffee is a great actual food for your brain. So there's obviously everything in moderation, but uh, caffeine does inhibit these things that cause dysfunction in the brain. So that's really, really important. Saturated fats. So good, healthy fats, coconut oil, grass-fed animal products, those sorts of things are really, really good. MCT oil, uh, omega-3 fatty acids, so we need a lot of that. We're very dominant in our society with omega-6 fatty acids, which are the bad ones. These are the good ones. So wild-caught seafood, grass-fed, again, grass-fed animal products. Magnesium, we talked about on our last video. Uh, really, really important, get those in vegetables. Grass-fed animal products, avocados, nuts, and seeds. And then, of course, B vitamins. Uh, grass-fed meats, vegetables, uh, choline, grass-fed butter, pasteurized, pasture-raised eggs, that means free-range eggs uh, with no antibiotics, no growth hormones, uh, zinc, again, grass-fed animal products, wild-caught seafood, pumpkin seeds. So you can see a theme here. It's really the re eating real foods, the foods that have had the less things done to it by man, the less chemicals put into it as we possibly can. You'll also have the article here uh, as well attached to this that you can read from Dr. Jockers, a great article on all these things. Um, these are some of the foods that you can include in here as far as brain foods, so coffee, grass-fed beef, uh, lamb, bison, wild-caught sockeye salmon, uh, apple cider vinegar, that's ACV, avocado, citrus, rosemary, turmeric, uh, raw cocoa, uh, which is kind of chocolate, blueberries, uh, ashwagandha, uh, chia seeds, ginger, pasture-raised pasture, pasture -raised eggs, and coconut oil, uh, grass-fed butter, leafy greens, uh, olive oil, green tea, red wine, uh, organ meats, which is like liver and kidney and those sorts of things, and my staff always turns up their nose at that, but these are things that are really good for you. They actually taste good if they're prepared properly, uh, really, really good for you. Uh, you're going to avoid, these are the things you really need to avoid. So either completely eliminate it or greatly reduce them from your diet. Refined carbohydrates, the stuff out of a box or a bag, things like that. Some of the things that have a lot of things done to it to get it to where it is. Sugar, obviously refined sugar of any kind, particularly high fructose corn syrup. Omega-6 oils like vegetable oil, canola oil, corn oil, any of the mostly processed, that are in mostly processed foods, crackers, cookies, you'll see that all over the place. Uh, unfermented soy products, so we, we don't mind fermented soy products, but unfermented soy products are bad. Uh, it really does things to your blood sugar levels um, and does cause toxicity with the brain. Uh, grains, so gluten and uh, GMOs, really bad for you. Again, chemical toxicity, diet soda is one of the worst things you can do for your brain because of aspartame and artificial sweeteners and things that are in there. These are widely known to be carcinogenic, to do damage to the brain tissue. So again, read the article below. We also have a dinner coming up, so you guys can check out the link on that. So we have several links below. You can get a voucher coming to the office as well. Uh, but check out our community dinners. This is where we feed you not only in your stomach and good healthy food, we're going to feed your brain good information to move your life forward. This is about community outreach for us. It's about being part of our family and the community and being healthy and well. So we encourage you to do that and get signed up for our dinner. We have one coming up here soon. All right. So I uh, hope you got a lot out of this one. Uh, Dr. Ewing signing off and we'll see you next time.